welcome to Spice and Pens. If you like our channel, please hit subscribe and thank you for watching. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today I'm going to show you how to make this homemade egg tofu. Alright, uh, I'm going to show you how to make the egg tofu first and subsequently I'll also show you how to make dishes uh, using this egg tofu itself. Okay, so what we need over here is I use 5 eggs, okay, approximately about uh, 400 milliliter of uh, unsweetened soya milk, okay, a little bit of uh, salt and that's all, it's very simple. Um, you can easily get it outside ready made but um, I prefer to do it on, on my own because it's fresher this way and we, we are sure that there's no preservative inside here also. Okay, um, so we we'll start by cracking the egg inside here. One egg is approximately about 70 75 milliliter kind of uh, milk uh, equivalent to the milk itself. So we we'll start mixing this in. Okay, all the eggs are in, so we put in this salt also. So mix them up well. So we we'll pour this inside here. Use a sieve, okay? Normally, um, when people want to do this and when you eat outside um, at all those uh, restaurants, normally they put a clean wrap up underneath it so it's easier to remove. But uh, due to health reason, um, we are not doing that. But it might be a little bit difficult to take it out, but I'm sure I can do it also. So what we need to do now is just uh, pour this through a sieve onto the bowl itself. When you want to steam this, normally people use a cleaner to cover it so that you'll be smooth when it steams out itself. But um, also due to some of our viewers' uh, health concern, we decided not to do it. Um, but what you need to do is when you, when you steam itself, turn the fire down lower. All right, and this should try and do the job. Now we can see some bubbles over here, so we try to pop all these bubbles off. The spoon, the behind of the spoon itself, so actually just uh, draw it this way. All right, and you can see it becomes very smooth. Now, we will steam this. Um, how long it will depend on how deep this is. Um, for this step, I approximately guess that it will be about 20, 25, 25, 30 minutes around there. So let's just go and steam this. Carefully put the egg in. Okay, this will go in about 25 minutes. We'll check whether it's done or not after 25 minutes. Cover it back. And let the steam gossip work. So now it's after 30 minutes. Let's just have a look. It's done now. How to check to see whether it's done or not? Just put a stick in, and when it comes up clean, it's done. All right? So let's just remove this from the heat and let it cool down before we remove the tofu from the container. Okay, this is how the tofu looks like after we have steamed it. Um, I've cut it into uh, three pieces and slice it halfway through also and I'm going to deep fry this later so we are going to do a complete dish now this dish is known as a crispy radish uh, with tofu so of course we need the tofu which we have made already about 150 grams of a uh, sweet um, dried radish okay um, we can use less if you want to but we love this one we're going to use 150 of this two tablespoons of oyster sauce one teaspoon of um, this uh, sesame seed oil one tablespoon of a uh, hua tiao jiao and for hao si, this hao si, uh, seasonings, we are using uh, one full heap of a uh, teaspoon. One scallop, one dry scallop soaked in uh, hot water and um, I've shredded it, keep the water also. And two cloves of garlic uh, that I've actually uh, chopped them up. Okay, so now we're going to deep fry the tofu now. The oil is extremely hot right now and it's time to deep fry the tofu. So slightly, just uh, slide them down. We're just going to fry three pieces at a time, so to put our six pieces. We want them to have a little bit of crispiness on the outside, so that's why we actually keep frying them. Right, when you see golden brown forming like this, 
right? It's time to check it out. It's so yummy. Okay, so repeat the same for the other two pieces. Now that the tofu has been deep fried already, it's time to do the radish. Pour everything in. Move them around quickly because you don't want to actually burn them. This is actually one of our favorite dishes uh, when we actually go to any of the Tsar store, but not every Tsar restaurant is going to have it, so we decided to actually do this dish ourselves. Be careful when you burn, turn, turn this around, don't let the hot oil um, burn you. Okay, so now it's about done. Let me just scoop this up. Now you can see it's like the golden brown. This is exactly the color that we want. And now it's time to cook up the sauce. First egg, come in. Put in the sesame seed oil. Now the fragrance will come out. Okay, when you can smell the fragrance, in the liquid, the dry scallop and the water itself. So now we can add a little bit more water to do one more sauce. We put in the oyster sauce. What else do you I think we need a little bit more sauce, so I'm going to add in a little bit more water. Then we put in the oyster seasoning. Add in a little bit of a Sugar. Let it boil for a while. So while it's cooking, let's just uh, have a taste. Very nice. Very, very nice. And we are using quite a big plate, so I think I need more sauce actually. Right, when it's boiling, it's time to add in the tapioca starch or corn starch. to pour the sauce onto the tofu itself. Hey, tofu, I've also uh, poured some of the xiao bai chai vegetable over here. So we have some greens and we have some proteins and I'll make the sauce. And now it's time to spread the sauce all over the tofu and the vegetables. Also. Look at how beautiful this dish is. This is something that's easily done. Everybody can do this at home. Always the goodness over here, so I'm going to use up everything. Okay. Time to spread out the dried radish, spread generously over it. Now, some of you might be concerned that it's too salty or whatever, but trust me, this um, sweet. Dried radish from Thailand is actually not very salty, and the sauce that I make is not very salty also, so it will be a fine match. Okay, top it up with some coriander, and we are done. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our crispy radish with homemade egg tofu. I hope you like our video. To click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.